Meditation and the Golden Moment by Rev. Jagannath Carrera There is a wise saying that well begun is half done. The way we prepare for and end a meditation sitting is important. The beginning should include affirmations of our intentions and goals and the first steps in bringing the mind to a relaxed, focused attention. After your affirmations, chants, and prayers, there is one more step to take before turning your attention to your object of meditation. It's simple and doesn't take long, but it is vital. It is the golden moment. The period of time in a meditation session where you create an inner environment that is non-judgmental, accepting, gentle, and loving. During this stage, we allow whatever comes into our awareness to rise, develop, and subside without any interference or judgment. The golden moment is the loving acceptance of the entire mindscape. The thoughts, images, impressions, emotions, memories, and activities that constitute our minds at any given moment. It is a meditation essential and a gift we give ourselves. A gift that leads to peace of mind, wisdom, and unconditional love. The biggest reason that people are irregular in their practice, or drop it completely, is that they don't feel that they've experienced enough benefits. A major cause for this failure is the mental environment that they have allowed to exist in meditation. For many practitioners, meditating resembles warfare. The chosen object of meditation is like an embattled victim being showered by bombs while running through a minefield. The distracting thoughts are regarded as enemies of meditation. This attitude sets up a combative, intense mental environment, where only the chosen object of meditation is good and everything else is bad. It's hard not to feel inadequate or like a failure. Cultivating the golden moment neutralizes this non-productive attitude. Here's how it's done. You simply remain a silent witness to the mind without making any judgment as to the fitness of its contents. There is no attempt to control, guide, or censor mental activities. You simply observe allowing impressions to move across the stage that is your awareness. Like a member of the audience, not like a critic, you simply watch. The golden moment regards the mental activity in meditation as typical and non-pathological. Its practice leads to accepting all thoughts and activities with compassion and love a profound and complete embrace of our mindscape. The golden moment is practiced just before turning the awareness to your object of meditation, and then again at the end before your closing peace chance. Why are there two golden moments? The golden moment at the beginning helps calm and clear the mind, preparing it to embrace the chosen object of meditation easily and comfortably. It creates a more hospitable environment for meditation to take root and grow. From the outset of your sitting, you've let go of the tension that accompanies notions of success and failure or of good and bad thoughts. The subtle and powerful energies of the mind become freer to focus. The second golden moment 
reestablishes the non-judgmental attitude if it is lost while meditating and helps to integrate the meditative experience with the more active, get things done part of the mind. As you progress over time, the second session takes on another significant dimension. A mind that is no longer threatened by critical thoughts more easily reveals subtler states of consciousness. There is a natural deepening of awareness from the object of meditation to the peace within, to awareness of awareness, and ultimately to the experience of self-realization. Let us practice together. From a steady seat, tune in to the thoughts as they rise across the landscape of your mind. Begin to notice your own response to your thoughts. Experiment and see if you can invite in awareness of your thoughts without judgment. For the next 60 seconds, allow yourself to witness all your mind has to present to you and hold space for what it presents with loving kindness. What did you find? The time you spend practicing the golden moment can range from several moments to several minutes. It depends on how long your meditation session is and the state of your mind at any given time. The first golden moment should be continued until the mind begins to become calmer and clearer. Then move on to your chosen object of meditation. The second golden moment can be done for as long as you like or until the mind starts to lose focus. Don't rush or skimp on this aspect of your practice. Cultivating the golden moment will accelerate your success. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.